This morning's coffee with us with Jerry Lininger. And the satellite interview is furnished by National Geographic. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry, welcome to WJC in Baltimore. How you doing? Thank you. I'm doing good. Good to be with you, Marty. Hey, and before we talk about one strange rock, <laughs> and we're going to because I'm a space geek, your son's at the Naval Academy? Yeah, he's a senior. Played hockey for four years, so I've been out there in your area pretty much through the winter. Uh, every other weekend, my wife will go one weekend, I'll go the next weekend. So, yeah, it's, it's good to talk to Baltimore here. Well, it's good to have you with us. Congratulations on the son of the Naval Academy. Thank you. I tell you what, One Strange Rock premieres tonight on Nat Geo. I've already set my DVR to record every one of these episodes. It's the Earth, Will Smith, the narrator, but you and a bunch of other astronauts. It's our planet through your eyes. Let's talk about it. And the Earth spins, right? Oh, it's, a, it's an amazing series. And, you know, when I'm in space looking down at our planet, I am in awe. And it is very hard to convey that. And we have different movies. You know, gravity gives kind of that feeling of disorientation. And, you know, Apollo 13 was a nice... Uh, historical representation, but it is very, very difficult to convey, you know, just how special our planet is. And in this series, you know, I, we just had the premiere here in New York City, and I'll tell you what, um, you know, watching that film, it's pretty darn close to that sense of wonder and um, just impressiveness of our planet and the systems and how it all interacts and keeps us all alive. You know, um, Will Smith, if you watch the trailer, folks, go to YouTube or any other platform, watch a trailer. He says, maybe the strangest place in the universe is where we are walking right now, that it is that amazing. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I'd agree with that. You know, just the existence, our very existence is a miracle. And you think, uh, you know, back a billion years after the Big Bang, we had these big massive sun-like objects. They were about 10 times the size of the sun. All we had is helium and hydrogen at that point, but they were big enough to condense those things down and make the heavy elements. And not only that, but that had to be unstable or else it would all be there. Instead, that explodes, sends those heavy elements out into the universe. And you know, my fingernail has that calcium that was created, uh, you know, 13, 14 billion years ago. And so it is a miracle, and against all odds, the planet to exist in the Goldilocks zone where the temperature's right, and for life to exist, you know, it's, it's miraculous, really. You know, we're in spring here, and dandelion's going to start popping up. Folks, I just want you to think about this. Look at that dandelion. You're looking at more known life than we've found in the universe so far. I'm convinced that'll change. I yeah. think anybody rational realizes that will change. But that's how unique this this place truly honestly is did you have doing this fun did you have fun doing this project i did and i, I was able to reflect on things you know you, and you're with your other astronaut colleagues there's eight of us we share stories um and it was um you know i learned a lot actually much more reflective about my experience uh one thing for example we had a i was on a russian space station we had a huge fire you know flames coming out three or four feet total blackout 14 minutes of trying to get that fire out and during that time my, my thought process is you know we're going to get that fire out and that's basic survival instinct that kicks into all of us but my second thought was you know i'm going to see my boy again and that boy is now john at the naval academy but at that point he was one and a half years old and my instinct to you know move life forward and to launch the next generation was probably stronger than my own survival instinct. If and, you, you know, that's how life has been progressing. If you go to the NASA website, look up Jerry. Matter of fact, here's a picture of Jerry in his work clothes, the orange launching, launching reentry suit. <laughs> and when he was on Mir, he wrote 72 letters to his son. They're on NASA's website. It's a fascinating look at really the first space station. Jerry, our time has run short. Congratulations on the project. Yeah. Thanks for being with us and uh, enjoy springtime in Annapolis on the Chesapeake Bay. You're a vet now. I know you will. I will. I'll be down there for graduation week. So thanks. Great talking to you. And, and keep, you know, take every breath of air and, and count your blessings how good we have it here on the planet. You got it, pal. Thanks so much. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.